Hi, I'm John Warren, and uh, my advisor is Dr. Fisher, and my capstone project was on converting units to science way. Uh, technically, that's called national analysis, uh, but so we got lots of measurements in science, and um, I'm trying it with my uh, chemistry class of mostly 11th graders to try them get them to be, feel comfortable doing mathematical processes using those uh, measurements. Um, so the, the approach that I took was using automatic feedback in Adobe Captivate, and I, I kind of designed informative uh, aspects to it, and then I had practice using kind of the, the, dra the drag and drop features and giving them automatic feedback for that. Uh, the interesting thing was that initially I did not receive, uh, I, did, I did not get back statistically significant results. Um, some of them, maybe they were tired by the end, there was a little bit of fatigue, maybe, um, and I, I didn't really see the improvement that I was looking for. Uh, part of that may have been they weren't used to having uh, an all online type of instruction. After further instruction, and uh, I was able to see significant, uh, statistically significant improvements, so that's good. Um, and so I guess for those of you that haven't done it yet, don't, don't give up just because you don't receive the results you want. Don't fake your results, mm. but uh, <laughs> uh, just keep on doing it and, and finish your project strong. Um, go ahead and stop by my, my uh, my place to, oh, I just lost it. Okay, if you want to learn about instructional design for science teaching, um, how I used a lot of custom graphics in mind and what instructors want to see in a capstone project. Okay, thank you very much. So long. Thanks for all the fish. <laughs>